here's the machine and you drive it in this belt on the bottom okay and you want to have a lot more weight than this and it goes in one direction so this is basically a scotch yoke mechanism but it's set up with uh, fixed links so it works better and uh, right here that's the output so it doesn't move very much and what you want to do is you want to take two transmission frags or one-way clutches all right and you put them on the shaft one this way one the other way so they ratchet like this and they turn the shaft slowly right so if there's one on the other way whether your linkage it's gonna grab a wrench so your linkage will move back and forth and it'll go like that so that's your output and you want three pulleys uh, to increase that to whatever speed you want. Like if you want a normal generator, you want 3,600 RPM. So say if you spun this at 200 RPM, this thing will probably be going about 11 RPM in this shaft. So then you need uh, 7 to 1 times 3, 7 times 7 times 7. And then you get 3,600 or something like that on your output that you don't want your uh, intermediate shaft spinning too fast because you lose a lot of friction. People have to ruin my videos. Okay, so you need to know where you want to put the weight. So it's real simple. So this here, this shaft is either moving this way or that way, okay? So you see this thing here, it can only go like this way. So and there's a rocker in the bottom. I didn't explain that, but I figured my viewers would be smart enough. Okay, so the shaft is going this way, okay? And now here the shaft going that way, okay? Right? And so the centrifugal force is from here to the middle of that weight. So it's this way. So you want to set it up so that, so you see I have a mark here, the widest part, and then 90 degrees. So I have a T there, depending on which direction you spin it. So this way is going counterclockwise. So this weight should line up here. So as soon as this shaft starts going this way, our centrifugal force starts going in this direction, right? Okay. Now over here, right? Our shaft starts going this way and our centrifugal force is that way, right? So the centrifugal force is actually pulling this shaft in whichever direction it's going. It's that simple. Right, and so like I said, your output would be here. Now you could put like a little crank on there, but it's not nearly as efficient because when you have a, have a wrench here, when you have a thing like this, right, close to 90 degrees, and you can look at my old videos to see what I'm talking about here, and your other ones like here, so it's close to 90 degrees all the time, but the problem is, is it, it just rotates real slow like that, and so you have to speed it up a lot, but you do have rotations, so rotations are better than back and forth no matter what speed it is. So that's simple. 
And I think I may use truck wheels and tires for pulleys. I think the belt will stay on them. And they're about 30 inches, so with two and a half inch small pulley, I'll get 18 to one. So again, let's just go over that again. Your input's on the bottom. Okay. You want to have a motor running in that. And then your output is just back and forth. But you want to turn back into rotations again to run your generator. And you want lots of weight and you want to make it as big as you can. So I can probably bring this weight out another three inches and uh, you know try to get one or two hundred pounds on this. And you want to run it as fast as you can because the if you double the rotation speed, there's four times the centrifugal force in half the time. So every time you double the rotation speed, the energy you get out is eight times greater. So you want to run this as fast as you can get it to work without it flying apart.